In this video, we will show how to use your TI Inspire CXCAS to solve engineering economics problems using the finance solver that is already on your device and how to program your own. To open the finance solver, go to Calculate on the home screen, then press Menu, select Finance, and then Finance Solver. This menu is useful for situations where you have a pretty cash flow that consists only of present, future, and uniform payment series or annuities. In the Finance Solver, N is the number of periods, I% percent is the interest rate as a percent, PV is the present value, value and period zero in your cash flow, PMT is the annuity, and FV is the future value value in period N in your cash flow. PPY is the number of payments per year, CPY is the compounding periods per year, and BEGIN is the period convention. In general, both PPY and CPY would be one, and END should be the period convention. For example, to solve the following problem using a 10% interest rate, Use the following parameters, n equals 4, i% percent equals 10, pv is the variable, pmt equals 100, fv equals 0, because there is no fv, ppy equals 1, cpy equals 1, and for the period convention. And the result is? negative 316 and 98. At this point, you may copy-paste the result to use it in the home menu. Clearly, this finance solver is very limited, as irregular cash flows and gradients might not be considered. Therefore, we propose that you code your own economic analysis factors. Let's see how we would solve this with our custom program. Clearly, it's easier to use the custom program as you're already in the home menu. And if we complicate the problem by adding a gradient, you'll see the flexibility for yourself. To do what I just did, you start by creating a function for each factor. Start by creating a new document, add calculator, press menu, select functions and programs, program editor, and new. In this case, we'll name it FP for future given present factor. Select function as the type and in library access select libpub because this will allow you to access our functions in any part of the calculator. This is the required code. After creating the function press menu, select Check Syntax and Store and Check Syntax and Store. To exit the program editor, simply press the dock key, select Page Layout and select Delete Application which will close the page. After this, your function is created and can be accessed in your document at any time by pressing the VAR key. Now you need to do this with all the remaining factors, where each factor is a separate function, and remember that f given p is the inverse of p given f. Once your functions are created, we need to save the document so that we can give access to all parts of the calculator. Just press the dock key, File, Save As, make sure that it's saved in the folder MyLib, 
and then create your file names. Do not add spaces in the file name or you will not be able to access the functions outside of the document. For spaces, use underscore instead. Press save and your document is saved. You can add more functions at any time. Now go to the home screen, go to calculate, dock key and then refresh libraries. This will refresh libraries so that your document can be accessed. This only has to be done once. Now, anytime you're in Calculate, to use your functions, press the book key on your calculator. Press 6 and search for your document's name and in there you will find your functions. This is a hassle, so I recommend you open your document Press var or just type in the function name to view your functions. Have fun with your calculator!